Daza. Last week I received this cylinder head from the machine shop. This has already been uh, at the CNC before. They already finished this one. This I saw you a thing before that they broke the corners here. But here. You can see that actually it's small. This one, I mean, you can see the difference, you can tell the difference. How it's here, I'm gonna pause it and we're gonna go to the other one. And here, see what I'm talking about? That to me, I'm gonna like to have this thickness, like that, this cylinder head. Then, here you see the tool that didn't touch down here. Here it touched the tool. And here, and on this one, and on this one. This one not that much. Okay. Let me, let, let's point on this one. Let's go to, the, to see the other one. The pattern looks different. I don't know how much material they have removed. Okay. I'm not gonna make a volumetric, I'm not gonna get any measurement to check the volume now. I don't have a time. It's not the time right now for this engine. Then I receive the cylinder head with these two dots. It won't gonna focus, ah, it will gonna focus. Come on, please. There you go. Talking about this one here and this one here. This is exactly where it's sealing the head gasket. And ah, plus there is also this. One, two, three, four marks. Okay, then final to now. Here, here it looks like that the tool it stopped there, or let us say the cylinder head it was like this example. Not that much, obviously, because we can be completely <laughs> uh, not straight let us say, but it looks like that here, I don't know if you can see on the phone, here it didn't touch at all. You can feel it actually, at this point. I mean, you see, this is the original machining and this is from the CNC. Again, I didn't measure the height, I didn't get the volume, the only thing what I checked it was the pattern inside, how it looks like in one and this one, and the thickness here. All right, let's see also that. Stop. God damn it. It will not. Let's see the compression chamber, let us say, here, on the third cylinder. All right. Better. Okay, so some comparison. Now, that's it for now. Nothing more, nothing less. One small update that I received the cylinder head. Uh, I'm waiting the upgrade valves. Obviously, I have to lap the new valves, valve springs, retainers. Uh, before I finish it, I want to get some measurements to see that straight. I want to put also the head gasket to see where it sits this one. How much important is this too? It's supposed to be exactly on the ring that's sealing the head gasket. <laughs> Unfortunately, if I adjust from here, yeah, maybe it's a little bit more up. Maybe it's a little bit more up. These corners here need to be removed the lip because you can see in some of them, not not so much, not like this. Obviously, not like this. Not with a file. With one razor blade, you just break the corner, but not, not like that. If you are asking me, you're gonna see how it's gonna be later on. Not now. For now, I'm gonna keep. Did they scratch from up? Just let's see the inlet. Okay, just we can just only see now, without getting any measurement. 
it's nothing. I cannot make a. I cannot check the flow. Obviously, this being machined till up here, the ports. Okay, in this cylinder head, it's not been machined here. I didn't touch the tool here up. All right. Let's let me uh, turn it to see the exhaust. All right. So side and exercise. Okay. Didn't touch. Here it's touching. Okay, on the first one. No, here it's different. Here, here, and here. It's not the correct depth. Just checking the thickness here and compare it with this one. But by eye, you're not gonna be able to tell so many things. You need to get some measurements. Need to get some measurements. Yeah, not now. Not now. It's not. Uh, it's not the turn of this. Since since I don't have also the valves to check with that. Okay, to start doing what. It is what it is. Like I said, I don't like this. Actually, I don't like that it's been resurfaced because I measured it before. It was not been wrapped, bent or whatever, it was nice and straight I didn't show any coolant mark before that's what I remember, I'm gonna watch again the previous video but that's what I remember, I might be wrong but I remember that it was not suffering on the surface and the heat gasket was healthy <coughs> so that's it for now one small update, one comparison between this cylinder head and this one storaging behind the curtain and moving on thank you